Hey guys, what's going on? Galactic Force Media doing a quick unboxing of this new RadView Alpha Hound A B plus G. Just want to show you guys what's inside the box. So let's open it up and see what we're looking at. It's a very cool box, unique. I believe the owners said this is so it does not get lost in the mail. Now, I already took it out prior. This did come wrapped up in um, heavy paper, so it would not be damaged. So we're just gonna go straight up to see what's in here. First thing we have is the actual Alpha Hound itself. You get to pick a strap of your choice. There's different ones to choose from on the website. And it comes with this case on the back and this is what's gonna determine if you're gonna be looking for alpha or gamma. There is a mylar sheet right here. It's not called a sheet, but there's the mylar right here and that will help you pick up your alpha. Very easy operation, it goes right on. Boom, with a switch on the top. You'll get the load on screen. And then immediately you'll start hearing the clicks. So this screen right here is alpha, beta, and gamma. And there's multiple modes. I, you can only do four modes at a time, but this is specifically for alpha and beta, which you'll hear the click beta once in a while. And then we have counts on alpha, beta, and gamma as well. And then you have your background. There's other modes which you can go through the menu, which you can pull right here, hold down, and then you can put your LED, the audio, there's a timer mode, there's a background sub mode, and there's different modes you can put in there. There's also different units where you can go counts per minute, counts per second. It does it has radon detection built in there, your temperature, your dose, which you can go between sieverts or rem. And if you guys uh, have been looking into the Alpha Hound, the original, there was no buttons on the bottom. This was, this was just where you would, well, I'll show you. You would actually shake. And you can go through the different modes. And I, I didn't, I, I wasn't really too into that design. So when they announced the AB plus G, I got ex very excited. Uh, also in the box, there's gonna be paper with all of the modes. There's the new features for the ABG. Uh, so you have your rolling graph mode, gamma spectrum mode, alpha, beta, gamma spark mode. There is the sleep mode, and then there's the settings. So you have that. And then we have the rad view detection. It does come with a book that you can read For, for calibrations, mode selections, background sub. I would give this a read because they put it in here for a reason, right? There's a thank you right here. That's your setup guide tutorial. This is a replacement Mylar card that also came with the Alpha Hound. And then this cute little thing right here made a wood keychain. It's an Alpha Hound keychain. There's another case here that allows you to separate, which I have to do a little more reading up on. So if this is in here, right, then you can go and pull. And I'm also gonna show you with a source. So let's get a check source quick. All right, so I have an old, what is this? This is a West Clock Baby Ben pocket watch. This is from 1956, doesn't work, but has radium on the dial. So let's, let's, just, let's just try it with, well, let's do it first off with no, no case. Yeah, you can see right there, we're looking at 13, 14, 15, 15 and a half, beta and gamma counts per minute. And then you just go through and you'll see the beta down here. And then it'll do your total counts. I mean, there's gonna be no alpha that is separated by glass. 1.5, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19
Well, right now it's 1.1 micro sieverts an hour. Total count anywhere between 13,000 and 15,000. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it back in this case right here. And let's see how much of that it blocks. So you can see it definitely just blocked a ton. So if I pull it out, that number should start going up. Again, I have not done any research on this. Yeah, this looks like, so obviously there's, there's time, distance, and shielding there. Um, so we're not getting as, as much as if we were in the... Right there. And that's with the, co uh, the smaller cover. So if we went back into there, you're only looking at 8,900 counts per minute or whatnot. And then you can see how that just jumps up dramatically without that. So yes, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this here. I'm sure the creators will give me some insight, but I'm pretty sure it's for your time, distance, and shielding, or just different levels for allowing uh, the radiation to get through. I mean, this right here cuts it down by half. So there you have it. This is the Alpha Hound AB Plus G by Radview. I'll post the link to their website in the, com, uh, in the description below. Also, I've started a new series. The first episode has gone up recently for, is, it's called, Is This Radioactive? And I've been taking random items that I own that are in fact radioactive and using the Alpha Hound ABG and going through um, the paces of showing how radioactive it can be with the Alpha Hound. We might throw some other counters in there, but right now we're just concentrating on the Alpha Hound. But there you have it guys, quick video, not going crazy. Uh, if you could just like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, I am back. It's been about three, three and a half months since I've done a video. I was away for a while, but I got out on good behavior. So. You guys, uh, and no, I wasn't in prison, but uh, you guys take care of yourselves and be careful with all this radioactive stuff and happy hunting.